everybody, welcome back to Life's Balances where happiness is homemade. Okay, it's springtime, whoop whoop, and we are gonna make a fruit tart. We're gonna make a fruit pie. Okay, it's like a fruit tart with a fruit pie. This is what I made when I was in culinary school. I sold these things just to make it through culinary school so it is nostalgic for me. But let's get started with some ingredients. You're gonna need graham cracker crust, about a cup of fresh and washed blueberries, rinse them in cold water, fresh and washed raspberries, about a cup. You don't need a whole lot. I'll say a fourth of a cup. You're gonna need two of um, cream cheese, two of these, cream cheese, a cup of powdered sugar, and a tablespoon of natural vanilla flavoring. And then you're gonna need about a cup and a half of strawberries. Now, if you like, if you like other citrusy fruits like grapefruit, uh, mandarin oranges, and pineapples, you can also put this on the fruit tart and it tastes amazing. But um, this is what me and my kids like on ours. I'm not into the citrusy with my strawberry group stuff. I'm not into that. So I'm gonna slice the strawberries next. I'm going to allow my cream cheese to get to room temperature. You want it to get real soft so that you can mix the other ingredients with it. So when you cut a strawberry, you want to cut the top off first. And then you can either slice up with the strawberry facing up or you can slice it sideways. I like to face it on its side. And you want to do that because you want these really pretty slices like this because that's how you're going to place it on the um, on the fruit pie. So you want really pretty you know fourth of an inch thick slices of strawberries. Okay now I'm going to get my hand mixer not my hand mixer I'm going to get my KitchenAid mixer my standstill mixer to mix um, the powdered sugar the uh, cream cheese and the vanilla flavoring together. Okay, so I have my mixer and I have my cream cheese already in there. It's on, it's room temperature. I'm gonna put it on low. I'm gonna slowly add the powdered sugar and a little bit of heavy cream. If you don't have heavy cream, add milk. Turn it up one more notch. I'm gonna put it back down on stir and add about two drops of milk. I just want it to be kind of loose of a consistency. And then I'm, we're going to add a tablespoon of vanilla flavoring and we're also gonna add some um, lemon zest in there. That citrusy flavor will be in the curd because that's what we're making. We're making like a, a lemon curd. Um, and that's all the citrus I'll put in my fruit pizza. So if you don't have lemon juice, I mean, if you don't have lemon zest, you can always add um, about three drops of lemon juice, not a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my vanilla flavoring. And it's a tablespoon, I just know how to eye it. Okay, and now I'm gonna add my lemon juice. Yes, my lemon juice. Oh. Okay, so now we have our curd. It's done. Hey, wait. Mommy. I want you to see what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. It came. It's very stiff, okay? That's what you want. You want stiff peaks. Yeah, okay? it, it's a dip. So let me clean up and we'll go to the next Okay, step. so when you pick out your crust, I get the um, I get the, now, the nine ounce crust, but you wanna make sure that the crust doesn't have any like cracks on the edges. You can make your own crust, um, but that's just a lot of work. And this one comes with the foil pan and the lid. So that's why I like to use it. It's just more convenient for me. But what I'm saying is you want the, um, you want the crust to not have any cracks on the sides. Now there's cracks on the bottom. I don't know if you can see, you probably can't, I can. Right here, there's cracks going on the bottom. And that's all good, That that it won't crumble because the cream cheese and you know everything will kind of keep it together. But when you try to cut a slice, you don't want the back to fall apart. So, this, so like I said, it comes with a lid and you just 
you just peel it off you know peel it off wipe it clean and keep moving um, so let's go ahead and go to the next step I'm gonna take my curd and just um, pour it on pour it on in there so I'm just going to hold my spatula like this this is the offset spatula it's an offset spatula because it kind of goes down and I mean it goes down and then across versus just being straight um, so I'm going to put my index finger right here and I'm going to press with the top of the spatula and kind of spread across. If you go too firmly, it will come apart and it will lift the graham cracker out the pan. You don't want that. Okay. So I'm just gently pressing and smoothing into a circle. This is the same method you would use to ice in the cake so the crumbs don't come up. Um, just, just so you know. If it's uneven on one side, just kind of press it. Okay? So that's what I'm doing. You want the fat side going down. And you want to choose the ones that have the ridges first. So it should be downward like that. Going all the way across. Okay, so we have the strawberries going around. Can you see that? With a, a strawberry sunflower. You're then going to line the um, blueberries around. Oh, I forgot, you can add kiwi too if you like. And then we're gonna fill the middle with, um, with raspberries. Now, that's it, it's very quick and simple. So I just put my lid back on top and pinch the foil back over and it goes in the refrigerator. Now, of course, like I said before, you can add more fruit like kiwi, citrus fruits um or if you like mango you can add mango too just be prepared of the different textures as you bite into the uh tart um if you're making this in advance boil you some water and make a simple syrup like i did in the christmas and cocktails video with my dad so one part's water one part sugar so if you do a fourth cup of water use a fourth cup of sugar um bring it to a boil and then using a basting brush you want to base the uh, sugar on the, the liquid the simple syrup base it on top okay that's going to seal in the moisture so the fruit doesn't dry out so the fruit doesn't look pruney and nasty um it's going to save you a couple of days now i would not make it more than two days ahead and it only lasts a week in the fridge if it will last a day it typically doesn't last a day in my house but here is the fruit tart <laughs> and um, simple, 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 okay? Um, it's a nice summer treat, nice spring uh, meal, Mother's Day, Easter, around that time of year. This is when it's pretty. You can use all the different fruits that you want. They're already yelling for the pot. So remember that happiness is homemade. Keep faith, family, and food in mind, and everything will be all right. Um, and y'all have a good day. Bye. Wow.